What's up you guys, it's Deepoy and today I'm going to show you how to create this broken 3D text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So the first step we need to do is create a new document so for that go to file and then select the option new after that i'm going to select my default document which has width as 1280 pixels height as 720 pixels and then resolution as 300 pixels per inch after that click on create after that we need to type in our text so for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice download link for the font i'm choosing is in the description below also if you don't know how to install font in photoshop the link for that is in the description as well after that you can select any appropriate size for your text i'm setting it as 100 point and then select any foreground color which will be the color of our text i'm setting foreground color as black for now since we are going to replace it later on after that click on ok and then click on the document and then type in any text of your choice now once your text looks proper, after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now after that we need to place this text at the center of the document. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer. After that select move tool. Now after that click on align horizontal center and then click on align vertical center. After that make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now after that let's give color to our text so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as color overlay. After that set the blend mode as normal and then click on the color icon and then select any color of your choice which you like for the text I'm setting it as brown color after that click on ok and then set the opacity as 100% as well after that click on ok. Now there is a reason why we are adding color to our text like this way instead of the normal way and the reason I will be explaining it to you in some time. Now after that we need to give arc to our text a little bit so for that double click on the T icon which will select the whole text. After that click on create warp text icon and then set the style as arc. After that select the option as horizontal and then set the bend to around 10%. After that select the horizontal distortion as 0% and vertical distortion to 0% as well. After that click on OK and then click on the stick icon in order to place it. So now as you can see we have given the arc to our text. Now after that we need to convert this text layer into a raster type and after converting it into a raster type we cannot edit anything to the text. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as rasterize type. Now let me just explain you why we have chosen to add color to our text using the color overlay effects option instead of the normal method. So as you can see now we have converted the text into a raster type. Now after that you cannot change anything to this text nor the color of the text as well. So now if you have chosen the normal method and you wanted to change the color of the text now, there will be a long procedure in order to do that thing. But since we have chosen the color overlay effects option, all you need to do is double click on this color overlay option. It will open the pop up again. After that you can click on this color icon and then change the color according to your choice. So as you can see as we change the color it gets reflected in the text. But since I have chosen the perfect color so let me just click on this cancel and then click on cancel over here as well. Now after that let's start with our effect and give some cracks to this text so for that select the lasso tool. And then using the lasso tool you can make the selection of the part of the text as follows. Now we need to separate out this portion of the text from the rest of the text so for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac so as you can see as you click on Ctrl or Command it gives you scissor icon near your cursor. Now after that using the move tool you can drag the text as follows. So this looks proper after that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus D in order to deselect the selection. Now the steps we are doing are the destructive one and you cannot go back unless and until you do undo so be careful while doing this step. So now after that using the lasso tool select the another portion of the text as follows. After that again press Ctrl or command on Mac and then separate out the text as follows. And then again press Ctrl or command on Mac plus D. So like this way you need to select different portions of the text and then separate it out so let me just fast forward it so that you don't get bored.
So now this much cracks are looking perfect. Now after that we need to convert this thing into a 3D layer. So for that right click on the layer and then select the option as new 3D extrusion from the selected layer. So a 3D workspace will be opened up. So as you can see there is a 3D tabs besides the layer tab. Now I'm keeping the settings of this 3D as default and I have not changed anything over here. I will just like to rotate the image a little bit. So for that I'm doing that. So now this much rotation looks perfect. So again go to our layers tab and then right click on our layer and then select the option as render 3D layer. So now this step might take some time. It depends upon the performance of your PC. So let's just Photoshop do its best work. So there you go my friend. So as you can see Photoshop has done such a fantastic job in creating 3D layer for us. So now after that all we need to do is create a duplicate of this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then right click on the duplicate layer and then select the option as rasterize 3D. And after that hide the original 3D layer by clicking on the eye icon. So yeah that's it guys that's the final limit. Now if you guys like this short and simple video on how to create this broken 3D text effect in Photoshop then give us a thumbs up by hitting that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading this video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.